What's up traders? Norak here for Best of Us Investors. I'm really excited to come back to you and build upon the concept I talked about in the last video about false breakouts, ways that you can keep from taking a big loss in stocks that you own, identifying where they may reverse. We're going to build on that concept and we're going to flip it on its head. We're going to use that same idea to see how to get into stocks as really good high probability, low risk opportunities. But first, I want to talk real briefly about trading versus investing. And I was inspired to make this point by Kerry in one of his videos from a few days ago. He mentioned something within his philosophy of wanting to give stocks, companies that you own to your children and grandchildren. Great idea. Totally agree. Trading is more of a short-term focused discipline. But I believe you can combine and learn trading concepts to make investing better. That's going to be what I try to do in these videos. Try to bring it all together and relate it so that people can use it, whether they're short-term or even long-term. And that's what's going to happen in this video. One more point I want to make. If you are wanting to go down the trading route, do it separately. I know there's some IRA accounts out there that you can have futures and you can have options and you can do all kinds of things. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Do not start trading your entire retirement account. I think that is a very bad idea, especially if you're trying to learn. Have separate accounts. Have your retirement that you hardly look at and then your trading account, which you will be learning on which needs to be very, very small because you are going to make mistakes, lots of them, and it could take a while. So I wanted to make that point at the beginning here. Let's jump into it. Real quick review, what we're looking at here is Spotify. We use this example to show how price has this little thing that it does where let's say it makes a high like it did on Spotify in January of 2021. This is a weekly chart on TradingView, by the way. And then in February, it tried to break the high only by the end of the week to fail. This is a really dangerous sign, sign of reversal. If people were going to keep buying this, they should have kept on buying. And that should have gone higher. This, where you see a high be made, but then the close of the week or the close of whatever time period that you're looking at, falls back inside that high, back inside that range, that's very, very dangerous. We don't want to be in things like this because they could potentially reverse. Now, let's flip this concept on its head. Let's say that you own a stock and you want to add more, or you're looking to get into a stock that uh, you don't own already. Here's your homework. You need to find these stocks that you want to get into, you want to add to, and watch for this kind of setup reversed, where we have a spike down instead of up, where people have sold it off very, very quickly, only to have the price return back up inside that range. Best way to show that is with examples. And it's going to be really cool when this tends to happen. Let's go in the Wayback Machine using bar replay on TradingView to 2017, the BC before Corona, if anyone remembers that time. So if we look here, the green line, and we can also see this oftentimes on you know, TradingView or know ahead of time, earnings is about to come out on Humana. Right now, we're looking at January 23rd, 2017. Do we see the spike? People in this day sold off Humana all the way down, broke some lows, only to close back up inside the range. That's our first sign that something weird is going on with this stock. You know, people that sold it down here, well, they're not very happy, are they? Because that might have not have been the best sell. Well, let's be a little patient and let's wait and see what earnings brings for us. So we're going to jump forward a little bit here to earnings. 
and earnings, boom, comes out like so. Look at that. Another spike down below this range here. This happened on earnings February the 8th, 2017. Like this bar here, people sold it off only to, within that same day, bring it back up. You could have been watching Humana if you wanted to own the stock, you wanted a healthcare play, whatever your thesis may have been, waiting for earnings and watching the price action. Now, I don't even need to go back and look and see what these earnings were, why it went up. I can just look at the price action, the way people traded it, the way they broke the low only to have buyers come and scoop it up, to know that this may be a really good opportunity for me to get into it. And if we use the benefit of hindsight to tell the future from that point on, Humana never traded lower. It was a very good opportunity using that same concept of a false breakout lower to get into the stock for a buy, an investment. It can be very powerful, and you knew to look at it because earnings were coming around. Let's look at one more example, and this is more recent, and what really actually inspired me. This was one that I, I saw happening uh, just a few days ago. So this is Allstate. Let's say that you have a bullish bias on Allstate, or you want an insurance play, whatever your thesis may be. Let's go back to the day before earnings here. Now we're going to get really cute. Let's jump down to a more of a day trading time frame with a 30 minute. Getting a little dangerous here. So this is before earnings. This is before the morning open of 9.30 on February the 3rd, just a few days ago. Let's look at that first opening move. You see that? This is the 30 minute bar from 9.30 in the morning until 10 a.m. Just that first 30 minutes where we're sitting back, we're patient, deciding if we want to buy. You notice it made a low on the day before earnings. And that price broke that low only to within these 30 minutes, that first 30 minutes, first hour, if you will, of the market open, sold it off only to come back up into the range. And that is a signal. And of course, again, with the benefit of hindsight, we can see where this was a great opportunity, at least from that point, to get into all state stock. It hasn't traded lower since earnings. It's rising off of that. So I want you all to look for these types of setups. These types of setups where maybe you have a news event, a catalyst such as earnings, on a stock that you may want to add to or you already have for low risk opportunities. This can be your point that you wait for. You may wait for a while. You will have to be patient, but you can feel some confidence waiting for everybody that tried to sell it off to get washed out to the upside. And that's the general theory about this. Again, it's the same as the false breakouts to the upside. These are games that the, the institutions, the market makers, the whales, the, the lizard people, whatever you want to call them, whatever you want to say that people are out there, don't just complain about it. Watch for it. It can be a very powerful sign of reversal. And you can use it on any time frame. So I look forward to doing more of these and building upon this, building upon this to show you some of the techniques that I use to find these opportunities. So we'll see you in the next video. Until then, trade wisely.